Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Songs of Conquest, a game coming soon to Steam that we get a little bit of an early preview on for today. Uh, I think the game, I, I looked around, I, I think it had a demo, or it'll have a demo uh, for the game sometime in the future, but um, welcome back. Today we're going to build an empire, wage war, and uh, well, maybe get into a little bit of the skirmish after doing a little bit of the campaign. The game's not finished. And it's made by a very small team, so a lot of things here will be clunky and funky until they have enough time to put on the polish, which is totally, totally fine. And it looks great. Um, it's not a sponsored stream or anything, but after yesterday's sponsored stream of Heroes Hour, uh, I thought this would be a great game to check out as well. It um, was uh, allowed for me to show this yesterday, but we were busy with a few other things. And now today we get to take our first look at Songs of Conquest. So welcome aboard. I'm just looking at the images and such now. Uh, you can check it out on Steam, although you can just add it to your wish list at the moment. But we get a little early demo preview, so welcome aboard, everybody. Good to see you all here. All right, let's jump into Songs of Conquest. Welcome again to all the new members. Welcome to all the new subscribers. We have ourselves a giveaway goal today for the Discord, so let's bring that clock down to zero. And if we hit ten new members, we have a big O giveaway for everybody in the Discord. Everybody gets to uh, be a part of it, so... Welcome aboard. Welcome aboard. Ooh, ooh. There we go. All right. So uh, first of all, I got to say thanks to the team for Songs of Conquest for sending over kind of like an early preview key for this single player, multiplayer, base building, adventure, combat, something, whatever you want to call it. But remember, this is an alpha preview. It's not the final product. So don't don't judge the game too harshly now. What is up with games lately having really, really good music? Even at the splash screen. Ooh, there's a level editor. The game has a level editor. It has a tutorial. Ooh, pre-battle, spell book, character sheet. Very nice. Uh, multiplayer, a single player, campaign, or skirmish. Okay, so I'm allowed to show everybody the uh, first campaign today. And I'm also allowed to show whatever I want from the skirmish mode, so that's cool. So we're... Um, Pretty much unrestricted, aside from just show, like spoiling the campaign. They want it to be they want it to be something special for everybody who picks it up, which is fair. That's cool. All right, let's see. Um, anything else? Well, I guess what I'll do is there seems to be tutorials here, which would be good for me to learn. But maybe they'll be suggested when we start a new a new game and campaign. Let's see. Song of Stoutheart. Cecilia Stoutheart, the young a baroness of the barony of Southheart, uh, Stoutheart, will have to face enemies within and without uh, to hold on to her power and protect her people. Okay. Is that her? Maybe. Hey, you can host a game like that. Okay, I'm just kind of getting a feel for everything. Well, I guess the best thing to do would maybe be to start the campaign or this... Yeah, we'll do like the first mission of the campaign, and if we suck, we'll go uh, do some stuff in the tutorial. Okay, let's start the campaign for uh, the first song, the Song of Stoutheart. Ooh. That map looks nice. Mission 1, a new baroness. In the year 593 AA, a young Cecilia Stoutheart rose to baroness after all the untimely death of her father. When ore shipments from Barkspur's mines go missing and rumors of bandits are brought to the new ruler, Cecilia leads a small force to investigate the missing ore and restore lawfulness to the barony. Ooh. It looks like Middle Earth map, does it? I love the way the map looks. Yes, 593 anti-aircraft gun. Yep, that's that's what that means. This is nice. I love the presentation for this. The music is... More and more indie games are getting more and more good music. Like, artists are working with everybody. Love it.
All right. Oh, a load screen tip. You can recruit troops straight from the buildings that generate them. Okay. Press any key to continue. Where's the any key? Dude. I absolutely love the art style. I am so down with this, like, Super Nintendo, Sega Genesis level stuff. I just love that. All right, Cecilia Stoutheart, the young ruler of the barony of... Sa uh, I keep saying Southheart, but you know what I mean. Uh, Stoutheart was on her way to the settlement of Flint Hills. All shipments of resources from this region had stopped, and she was determined to find out why. She suspected an uprising of bandits and peasants had already sent troops and had already sent troops to the region to await her arrival. Okay, so we got to go meet with friendly troops that are here. Oh, good, there's a little tutorial inside the uh, campaign. Good. I like it when they when they um, integrate, like, a little tutorial with, like, the first mission. So that way you don't have to... Like, you're not lost when you go into the first mission, but you also don't have to sit through what feels to be, like, school. You know, with, the, like, the tutorial. That's how I always feel. I, I, integration like this is a perfect move. It's very good. Uh, click right-click to set a destination. Left-click to select and inspect. Ooh. Oh, damn. Defense 5, defense 20, level 1, experience 0, movement 10. Troops, rangers, and footmen. Skills are guard and command. Essence is order, human. <laughs> Status is human. All right, let's get a check real quick. Yep, okay, still human, good. All right, it's not like tentacles or fins or anything. Good. Okay, so yeah, here, here's the troops that we have under our command. So we have five rangers a.k.a. archers, and footmen, a.k.a. like, level swordsmen. Okay. Oh! We got gold, stone, wood, glimmer weave, ancient amber, and celestial ore as special stuff. I love the rain. This is gorgeous. And the sound? Damn. This is, this is stellar. This is absolutely stellar. And look, even the fog of war has detail. That's lovely. Um, if, you, if you're already enjoying games like this, like Heroes Hour and like uh, Loop Hero and all these other kind of like... They look like older Nintendo and like Super Nintendo games or even like early PC games. There's something special about that. That whole Diablo era where things kind of looked like this. I don't know. I love that. Well, I'm assuming we have to go up this way. What is that? Was that oh, is that a body hanging from a tree? Oh, that's nice. Uh, we should probably go inspect that. Gallows. Death comes to all, some sooner than others. 250 XP. Okay, so I, by looking at points of interest, we get XP, so that's good. The Aurelian Milestone, a source of power. Plus two movement, duration for one turn. Oh, there's a body. A dead commander, source of riches. Ending the turn. When you're out of movement, uh, press the end turn button in the bottom right corner. Pixel art is super nice, damn. I know, I love this so much. Like, this is one thing, but the fact that we can zoom in and kind of see it as a 2.5D thing, absolutely beautiful. Like, there's so many games that are 2.5D as well, like Little Nightmares, or as we played yesterday, uh, Far changing tides and this is absolutely stellar just stellar absolutely stellar what's up s17 good to see you and the music is great damn i wonder what the i guess the torches are just for lighting the, the way to the road okay looks like there's a an enemy faction here let me scoot over there's the aggressors down here so i guess there's only one enemy faction out there and look at the lighting too I don't, man this is kind of what I liked about um, I also think that games like they are billions and age of uh, darkness final stand do a really nice blend of this art style like this pixelated art style although this is more pixelated and I, lo I love it I love it dead commander the dead commander wore stout heart colors the rumors of an uprising must be true 
Dead Commander, you find an old artifact on the body. You could return it to the family for reward or keep it for yourself. A round shield or 900 gold. Protection against arrows and melee weapons. The round shield is favored by many warriors. Both options seem mean. Steal or, like, sell it back to the family of their dead family member. <laughs> okay. Well, if it's a military piece of equipment, I guess it belongs to the Stoutheart army because, I mean, he's in our colors, so... I guess it's our property? I, I don't know. Yeah, Factorio. Factorio is a good example of that, too. Too many people, like, Drake meme stuff. Like, they, they're, they're like, oh, this doesn't look good, so thus it must not be good. And it's like... Man, that's like saying, oh, man, that local pizza joint is kind of in the crumbly, rundown uh, strip mall, so thus their food also must be bad. And it's like, are you kidding me, dude? Domino's can have, like, a beautiful-looking building on the corner, unlike some new sort of, like, uh, you know, apartment building that they built where the bottom's a bunch of commercial building. That doesn't make the pizza taste better. It's all about the heart. It's all about fresher ingredients, better pizza. Jimmy John's. What? Okay, let's continue. Oh, there's a little wagon here. Dude, I love this. I love this so much. Oh, a tower up there. Look at how hand look at the handcrafted. Man. <laughs> oh, is somebody Oh, this is a uh, bad times in Oregon Trail. A looted cart, source of riches. Oh, good. We gathered some wood and uh good stuff. Good. I love that it shows in turn two in our next turn. That's how far we'll be moving. I hope I didn't miss anything back here. Oh, there's a question mark. Oh, that's just because it's Fog of War. Okay. I may have missed something. I don't know. Who knows? Oh, bodies. I think those are bodies. Uh-oh. An ambush. Oh no, those are friendlies. The Corvus Reserve. Some tired soldiers came out of the nearby forest when they saw Cecilia approach. They hailed her. Man, wait. Man, okay. I need... Man, so many arm folders and so many... Oh man, so many small brains that subscribe to the channel. If you've got a small brain, unsub and don't come back. I can't... I cannot deal with that anymore. If you're folding your arms, get out. That is so gross. Hail, Baroness. The Corvus Reserves await your command. Well met, soldier. What is the situation and status of the mines? Our scouts have detected hostiles about Milady. The gold mine to the south has been seized by rebels. We also encountered an unexpectedly well-armed force at Flint Hills to the west. Some lives were lost and we were forced to retreat. How well armed. All well, these aren't peasants with tools and knives, they're crossbows and swords, and bannerless knights ride with them. Someone challenges my lawful ascension to Baroness. Join me and we shall show them their error. Stout heart will stand. New objectives. Take back the gold mine, optional. Retake Flint Hills. I want that gold, baby. Okay, plus two movement. Old camp, source of power. Soldiers are camped here. You can wait for their return and recruit them, or you can steal their gold and leave quietly. No, I want to recruit them. Steal their gold. They're literally my troops. I wonder if there will be negative or like positive effects for doing some things like that. I want to go to the waterfall. Plus three movement. Uh, resting uh, for a while by this waterfall invigorates your troops. Oh boy, this will be interesting. Looks like we can get some gold, too. Stand down. This mine belongs to the barony of Stoutheart. It belongs to me. We will do no such thing. You would be wise to go back to your castle and prepare for a storm. There's one coming, I gather. And the storm gathering here is me. Prepare yourselves. Combat time! 
All right, time to get into some warfare. Tutorial deployment. This is where you place your troops on the combat grid before entering combat. You can only place troops on the tiles with your team color. Tiles that are elevated are the high ground, gives offensive and defensive bonuses both melee and ranged units. Uh, ranged troops can target any enemy within their range. There's no line of sight. The enemy, uh, the only limit is how far their weapons reach. However, you can increase the range by moving to high ground. Uh, in the top right corner, you can see how many enemy troops will be placed on the colored tiles on the right side of the battlefield. Uh, if you engage the enemy and realize that the opposing army is too powerful, you can withdraw from combat at no penalty. If the enemy engages you, there's no possibility to withdraw. Should you prefer to let AI manage the battle for you, you can choose the quick combat option. This will resolve auto-resolve battle and present the outcome to you. Okay, makes sense. Alright, so the enemy's got somewhere between 11 and 25. So we have 16 rangers and 10 footmen. I feel like we could win. Here's our 16... Oh good, it already like... It already places it for us. Can we split troops? What's up, Brand? Good to see you. Uh, this game, you were wondering what happened to it? Well, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it looks like they were busy actually making a good game than just, like, hyping it up. I, I, love, I love seeing the trees blow in the wind, too, and the rain and stuff. This is a nice atmosphere. I like this. Place attacker troops. Okay, I think we're good. Let's do manual battle now. These troops are as good as hexagon. That is right. Battle! It looks like they have 25 crossbowmen. Let's get them. Oh, damn. Damn, that's nice sounds. I guess we gotta go next round. Oh wait, what are these? Spells! Ooh. Spells are used in combat, and you can cast one spell per turn. This is where you can study the spells in the game. You can checkbox you can mark the checkbox in the top left to show the spells that you can currently cast, and use buttons at the top right to filter spells by type of essence. By dragging and dropping spells to the quick bar, you can prepare a lineup of favorite spells for easy access in combat. Which spells you can cast depends on your source of essence. Troops are your most important source of essence, but you can also gain it from artifacts, skills, buildings, and research. Skills also scale depending on your level of widler and the amount of essence you have available. Each troop stack gives you a one or more essence, the stack in which three militia units will give you one order essence. If you split it up into three stacks, each containing one militia unit, you would instead get three order of essence. Oh. Quicken protection. Oh, I see. Give a friendly troop one movement, but plus five initiative. Yeah, that, that, I hope this protects these troops for the next round when it's the enemy turn, so if they shoot at me, we're protected for the enemy's turn. How do I go to the next round? Oh, I see. Get wrecked! Half 
Pacify. Calm down. There's no need for bloodshed. Give an enemy troop negative 50% damage. Wow. That's expensive to cost. Cast. Well, I guess that is an expensive cost. That's cool. Very clean. Victory! Cecilia Stoutheart plus 650 XP. Troops lost. We lost. We lost a guy. New level. Excellent. Oh, it looks like we can choose one. Upgrade, improve skill, new skill, or upgrade command. Guard, troops gain 20%. Current is 10. Uh, melee, your troops gain 12 melee offensive. Command, unlocks the ability to bring four troops with you in your army. I see what they mean. Meaning to deploy, I think, on the uh, battlefield screen. I think guard's the best because that'll benefit all troops, as we're melee, it will only benefit the swordsmen. So let's go with guard. And there's a pile of gold. Yay. Wow, a thousand. Ooh. And what about the gold mine itself? Oh, now we claimed it. Received 500 turn gold per turn. Nice. Very Heroes of Might and Magic, and I am all down with that. The game yesterday we played, uh, Heroes Hour, was the same too, which has definitely put me in the mood for this. So, like, I'm extra in the mood for this. It's like when you're really, really in the mood for pizza. You know what I mean? Can we get one? Can everybody smash like for pizza, by the way? I love pizza, man. Pizza's so good. Pizza cake. All right, let's go to the Flint Hills. I wonder if we move faster if we stick on the roads. Or, like, if we can move further. I don't think that has anything to do with it. Alright, now we can move to... Whatever that is. Looks like a... Something on a pedestal. A ring, maybe? Oh, it's, yeah. It's what we saw on the splash screen. It's like a, a hand holding a ring. Old Battlefield, a source of power. Uh, walking this old battlefield inspires caution. Plus 20 defense, negative 10 offense. Okay. Oh, so there could be like a negative thing. But now we're at plus 40% uh, cent defense. That's crazy. Imagine if there was a pizza roll up top. What would they call it? Oh, man. They would have to call it a, a, roll, a roll of delectability. Wielders of the Essence. Cecilia was no ordinary commander. She was a wielder and could draw upon the essence of her troops around her and weave mighty spells. Okay. Uh, to learn more about spells and essence, visit the spell book and explore the options within. I think we did do that. Let's go up this way. In the next turn. Old camp. Soldiers are camped here. You can wait for their return or steal gold. I want troops. I don't want money. I want troops. I assume all of these are all troops. Yeah. Plus 12 militia. Okay. So we found our army. Excellent. And there's a weapons rack there. And that's an enemy. We'll go up around this way. Yeah. Well, the, the cal zone. Yeah. We're entering the cal zone. Large camp. A small batch of your soldiers are camped here and are awaiting your command. Join us. Uh, I grabbed some weapons, but what did it do? Yeah, eventually we can start uh, base building, but we need to have... Yeah, in order to do research, we'll need to have, like, a, like, an institute or whatever. I got a dagger? Okay. I wonder, is there a way, does anyone know if there's a way to, like, see what the previous move did or something? We got a dagger? Awesome. Oh, let's check the uh, wielder sheet. 
Maybe this will tell us a little bit more about what we just did. Okay, the wielder sheet. The wielder sheet gives you an overview of your wielder. This is where you can check skills, powers, artifacts, and a modifier summary. Skills and abilities that you gain as you level up. They give powerful enchantments to your wielders and can change range from gaining gold each turn to increased offense. Ooh. Powers are awarded to a wielder once it reaches level 8, 12, and 16, and so on. Oh, so every 8... Wait. Once you reach level 8, then you gain it every... 4 levels? After level 8. Okay. That's weird, but okay. So 8, 12, 16, 20. Uh, they are similar to skills, but more powerful. A wielder can only have two different powers. Artifacts are equipable gear that you can find in the adventure map. Oh yeah, like the dagger we just found. And sometimes random events. Drag and drop artifacts from your inventory to equip them. Modifier summary is a list of all positive and negative modifiers based on your equipped artifacts. Oh. So we have the dagger now. Yeah, there it is. To cut a slice of bread, a strip of meat, or the throat of your opponent. Plus one offense. Skills, guard, and command. Yeah, so we have that round shield from before, so that gave us plus five, and then the dagger, which is plus one offense. But that's probably... I wonder if that's all offensive troops? But I guess that's also just our hero. What does that button do? I don't want to touch that. All right, let's go to... Oh, there's a statue here. Shrine of Arulia. Hundreds of years ago, the Empire of Arulia spanned the whole world. Statues of the Empress can still be found spread across Al Algrion, and many folk here speak dreamingly of the golden years of Arulia. Plus 10 initiative and plus 1 movement. Okay. Heroes of Might and Magic Heart. Yeah, definitely I'm, I'm feeling that. And I... It's perfect. I think we need more games like this, honestly. Bandit Hideout, a source of riches. Oh, that's where they're hiding. Militia. Wait, Militia seems to be ranged crossbowmen. Unfortunately, there's no high ground, but I'm going to put these guys in the bottom. Hey man, all I'm saying is the world needs more games, and it is impossible, I think, nowadays for a developer to make a game without being inspired by other games. It's impossible. Alright, let's see. We need to go to... Oh, good music, too. Right, I'm going to push in with the troops. Close in with the militia. And the archers. Oh, get wrecked. Our ranged unit will never... Our ground unit will never be able to attack. Dude, the final kill like that is so cool. I can already tell you I'd love to see another like uh, beat em up, side scroller beat em up game like that would be amazing. I'd love to see like a Turtles in Time side scroller beat em up action in this pixel uh, pixelated style. I love it. Absolutely love it. Boom, boom. Battle Cry of Freedom. Yep, that's on our list of things to play hopefully soon. Soon. Get wrecked. Whoever hides here fled in a hurry and they left some valuables. 400 gold, 4 stone, 4 wood. Awesome. I got the hell out of there after we, uh, after they saw us coming. 
So it looks like we can eventually go up, but also there's a way to go down. So I'm wondering if it like zips around this way. It's amazing how we're like in battle, but the game seems so peaceful. There's no way else around. What is that? I didn't go back there, but I didn't I didn't think I could go back there, so I don't know. Oh well. Yeah, the death cam. Pretty cool. You best be gone, young South Stoutheart. Flint Hills are free lands now. Free. Free to be attacked by bandits and pillaged by other baronies. Who will protect the people? You? Why not? As you can see, we're quite well armed. I can see that, but who armed you? One of good intentions. Now turn back. Unlawful bandits and rebels will never tell me what to do. Get it, girl. 26 to 50. Oh, boy. Oh, I didn't even use magic in the last battle either. We were so... We were so good. I do like how the game auto-deploys things intelligently. Like... Rather than just leaving stuff over on the side, it like automatically puts your archers and stuff up there. Range five, range seven. Okay, that's better. Oh, is that because they're up high though? No. I'm gonna try to hold the hill. Maybe we can make them attack us. Let's try to use our skills too. I love this. It also kind of reminds me of Final Fantasy Tactics as well, a little bit. I mean, the presentation's much different, but I mean, it, it gives me the same vibe. Are all these guys always ranged? Alright. Okay, sir, that was incredibly rude. Again, incredibly rude. Uh, I can't attack, but I'm going to hold here, though. Man, that final kill is so satisfying. <laughs> and the little spurt of blood at the bottom. Got him, boys. Got him. New level! Awesome. Uh, let's see. Guard, archery, or command. Your ranged troops gain 15 ranged defensive. I'm gonna go with the range, because we do, we do have two ranged units, and they've been kicking butt. Out of the way. Ooh, plus 600 dino nuggies. Awesome. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, that's... Oh, boy. There, mounted cavalry? Uh, <laughs> uh, maybe we'll come back later? Uh-oh. Oh, there's a road sign. Plus one movement speed, yeah. Oh, we can't even, like, attack this stuff? Oh, no. That way it's just completely blocked. 
Hey, I can't spam 600 nuggets. Chat can. Let's see if we can get 600 people to give me one nug each. I'm sure it's possible. Good luck, chat. Good luck. Give me one nugget. I, for eye hunger. This will be interesting. Threat level easy. Oh, I gotta wait one turn. As Cecilia's troops approach Flint Hills, a well-armed force of soldiers wearing no banners, uh, Baronese colors came out to meet them. Knights, archers, you are no ordinary bandit force. I've always wanted to kill, the, kill a wielder. You won't be the first upstart knight I've defeated. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. That's good. I hope this game's on tablets. Feel it'd be super cozy to sit on the couch and just like turn off your brain and just enjoy this. Oh, they they are so dead. Go ahead and protection of the archers. Wish I could have done that earlier. I knew the horses would be dangerous, though. All right, that's not too bad. <laughs> Planet Fall? I think there's some videos on the channel of that. No! Not my archers. Oh, I love them so much. They were my favorite till they died. Oh yeah, we can cut through here. So we, I think we need to use these spells a lot more than, than what I was using. But we need to get more um, essence or whatever order to do that. So we don't get any at the start, so we have to kind of like earn it. They announced a new Bioshock movie? Really? Tell me more. Get wrecked! Alright, that was a much harder battle. Looks like there's cavalry in the game. I can't wait to get cavalry. You think we You think we You know what I found yesterday when we played Heroes Hour? I found bear cavalry. And even uh, Total War Warhammer 3 has bear cavalry too. <laughs> Everything's coming up. It's the year of the bear. All right, taxes plus 100 gold. Um, command or troop defense. I'm gonna go with guard. I don't. I don't want to lose anybody else. Interesting that our troops can't attack defenses or like emplacements uh, while out of battle, like on the world map screen. Oh damn, we get a town now. No wonder that was so hard. Oh, we get to recap the town and build an army. Okay. That's good. Very nice. A crowd of peasants come out to greet Cecilia as her force entered Flint Hills. I've defeated the rebels and restored Flint Hills to the protection of Stoutheart, as is my duty. Now, who among you will tell me what happened? Those knights and their soldiers appeared one day and armed all the local troublemakers. They seized our quarries and mines and started sending shipments south uh, towards Barkspur, where their patron waits. And none of your and none of you stood against them. None of you sent word to Stoutheart. 
No, milady, we were afraid of our lives. We sent a messenger to Hope's Glade to warn and ask for help, but the messenger never returned. Remember next time you're made the offer of independence. I will always protect the barony from threats within and without. I don't think they mean... Oh, that's why I couldn't figure out what the hell they were trying to say before. I... Okay. She's saying that she'll protect the barony from threats within... Okay, I think that's a little mistranslation, I think. Maybe. Or it's Old English. Because you would say, like, you know, from within and... Within and... Uh, without would be, like... You know, from... Threats... You would say, like, threats from within... Or thre uh, foreigner. I, I guess that's what they mean. It's like foreign threats is what they should be saying. But that's... What, okay, so that means, like, foreign invaders or troublemakers inside the kingdom. Got it. Brain... Oh, hold on. Let me... F I gotta get brain start. There we go. There we go. Join my forces and together we'll restore order to the territory. Wait, is she saying join me and together we'll rule the galaxy? Star Wars? We'll stand with you. If you can arm us, there are able-bodied recruits in p the peasant's hut. All right, now we're going to learn how to manage a base. Now we've captured the town. Peasant's hut. Ooh, a cozy tavern. I love that. I love the look of the buildings. You can see the sign swinging, the lantern blowing on the door. Within and without sounds miles better. Well, it was making it, like... It makes it think the word without makes it seem like you don't have so it'd be like oh dude We have threats within and without and it's like wait. Do you have threats? It sounds cool that way You're right, but dumb brains like me are gonna have trouble figuring out what the hell what they meant. Oh, I figured it out eventually Okay, so now we can start recruiting and We have just enough gold to recruit 50 um, peasants? 50 militia. Okay. Nice. Now we've restacked the army again. Let's go gather stone. Maybe we can make new buildings now? We could probably go upgrade it to blacksmith. Do we have to capture these? Ah, okay. So we need to capture stuff again. Make sure we do that. Uh, the smith generously parts with their latest work, the archer's helmet. Okay, so we got a free item. Claim farmhouse, plus 75 gold. Okay. Go to the tavern. Maybe we can recruit another hero or something. This is cool. A tavern fills an army with energy and vigor, plus five movement for two turns. Oh, food and drink made everybody happy. We can only go down, so let's do that. I love everything about the art style of this game. If I made a game, I would want it to have this kind of high HD pixelation. It's it's the best of both worlds. It's like beer and pizza. Both are made of grain in a way, but you know. The barricades went away. Oh, di oh yeah, they did. Good eye, bad egg. Oop. Um, looks like there's things we can go to, but we gotta go up. I'm assuming we can go back to the peasant hut to recruit again, but I can only wield three troops at the moment. Until we upgrade one more time. That's a suspicious looking... Oh, it's a Karen. Looks like a pine tree. Leaving a stone shows respect for the fallen. One offense, one defense. Archway Ruins. Uh-oh. A small band of Cecilia's scouts were waiting along the roadside. Lady Cecilia, your troops are concealed here at the forest edge. This is not the forest edge. Those troops are camped within Tinderweald. You may have disturbed the fa The Fae? The Fae, lady? Surely that's only a myth. Do we sign covenants with myths? The law stands and we must make sacrifice or break the truce. I await your judgment. My life is yours. There will be no punishment. Your death would serve no one. If I remember my history, there is an offering tree southwest of here. Join up. 
I need all of my troops, even the ones who make mistakes. Thank you. Oh, there's the tree, I think. Maybe? Can we go in there? Oh, yeah. Uh, give me the militia. So really what it seems like is like we can have the troops now and get the instant gratification of growing our army on the move, or we can get the money and then go back to uh, base and then rebuild or recruit with the cash that we've got for better units maybe in the future. So far all we got was 50 militia, so it's like, it's okay. But it was pretty expensive to get them. Uh, a small batch of your soldiers are camped here and are awaiting your command. Oh, I can't take them because we're full. So we can come back later if I get, if we upgrade, one, if we get 4,000 XP, then we can go for the command and we can have four units with us. And those are rangers, so we'd have, we'd have two squads of militia, footmen, and then uh, rangers. Old camp. Oh, I can take more militia, though. I'll do that. All right, we'll come back for these guys later. What is that? Oh, yeah, the archway. Yeah, we'll go there first. Then we'll circle back. A curious arch. As Cecilia examined the strange arch, she noticed that it was almost warm to the touch, vibrating slightly. She studied many strange ruins from the times of Aurelia, but never one that seemed so alive. Plus 500 XP. Hey, nice. Almost there. One more battle and we should be fine, unless we get something else. Uh, I didn't see an option to recruit a new commander just yet. Giant mushrooms? Nice. Uh-oh. The spores of the mushrooms fill the army with berserker rage. Two damage, one movement, but pl minus 25%. Defense. Uh-oh. Um, let's go to the left. Uh-oh. Aren't we supposed to not attack these guys? We had a truce with them. Fey spirits. Mischievous beings of the deep woods. Swarm the clearing. Humans be gone. We wish to leave an offering for our trespass in the forest as stated in the ancient covenant. Stand aside, little spirits. I'd like to do my duty. No humans. None ever. Spirits, do not trifle with me. I'm stout heart, and by the accords, you sh so impede my passage to the offering tree. I may draw arms and put you out of your misery. You are misery. Misery! So be it. Oh. Okay, then. Time for battle. Oh, those are some speedy boys. Damn, the unit design is cool as hell. And those guys are, those guys are ugly. But we have to play the unit at the same time. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, wow, get wrecked. Uh, 
Uh, let's go for the one in the middle. <laughs> wow. Oh, get wrecked, sir. Get absolutely wrecked. Hey, a new level. All right, let's definitely go for command. We'll pick up those troops on the way back. Ooh, boots. Stone Circle. Circle infuses any visitor visiting wielder with power for their next battle. Plus uh, 10 offense, plus 10 defense, plus 2 movements, plus 3 view radius for one battle. Oh, the offering tree. We'll go there in a minute. Wow, a thousand gold. And boots made for walking. That's just what they'll do. Pouch of gold. Ooh, I'm glad we came over here. Here comes the money. Money, money. Here comes the money. That's right. Bay of the forest, accept my offering. I ask forgiveness for the slang of your kin, but they seem deranged and could not be reasoned with. Let our peace be everlasting. As the offerings presented, it seems the f it's the forest around it. Cecilia quiets down. Ho hopefully, it's enough. Minus one thousand. Oh. As the offerings are presented, it seems the forest quiets down. Yep, so now we've got three offense and three defense. Good. Right, let's go to the waterfall. Plus three movement. Oh, we should go back and get those guys. Um, we'll circle back when we get to the road. 600 gold. Old urns. These precious urns can be sold for gold or broken apart with a glimmer's weave holding them together. Uh, I guess glimmer's weave? Snow and altar. Sacrifices have been made here. They fill the wielders with power. Plus five defense, plus five offense. Nice. All right, back to camp. All right, looks like this could be an enemy troop in front of us. A Baryan mercenary. It seems they are better... Or between 20 and... Oh, 25 and 100 enemy troops? Damn. The music is brilliant? I agree. I love... There's, there's nothing I, I haven't not liked about this game or actually love. Like, this overworld and the battle system's really cool. The, the whole side, like, 2D hexa... Or, like, the... You know, like the... You know, the 2.5D slash 2D side-scroll kind of battle thing is really cool. It's quick and clean and not boring and... I like it. This game actually is one of those that seems like it's easy to learn and easy to master as well. However, when you go to multiplayer and play against friends and stuff, that's where it's going to get uh, really fun. To find out who's better. We're getting plus four stone. The only thing we don't have is ancient ember and... A celestial ore. Maybe we'll find a mine by soon. There's a tavern there. And another town. So if we get these guys out of the way, we have access to another town. Let's do it. Guarding the road was a large force of mercenaries hailing from the merchant states of Barya. Turn back or prepare for combat. Mercenaries? Who's hired you? Our contract clearly states we shouldn't share that information. I do not recall a declaration of war from Baryan city-states. On whose authority do you act? 
Our contract also states that we should fight anyone wearing the stout heart colors. But if you turn back, we could avoid this battle. You are unwelcome trespassers. I will let my sword lead the negotiations, starting with the punishment for breaking our laws. Then, unfortunately, we must battle. We can also do like quick battle, which I think is out of resolve mode. Or like partial out of resolve. These guys are from somewhere else. Yeah, they got completely different weapons and uniforms. But they're definitely from out of town. Take the high ground here. Oh man, get wrecked. Wow. That was brutal. Holy crap. Wow. We lost a guy. Can we get an F in the chat for Carl? Everybody was his he was one day away from retirement too. Damn, I feel bad for him. A burnt building, source of riches. You know, a lot of this game also feels like a point and click adventure game too, where at the at the moment I don't know what's going to be like something I can interact with. So like down here there's a bunch of like fireflies or like fairies or something. I like I don't know what I can interact or what not. So it kind of feels like a little pixel hunting game. I love that one. Oh. And if you double click, you can uh, like go fast. Burnt Buildings gives two wood, two stone, and 300 gold. Plus movement speed. Oh man, everything's on fire. Oh no. They were messing with our kingdom. What happened here? Hope's Glade. Cecilia's troops searched the smoking remains of Hope's Glade. This is where they sent that scout before, or the messenger. Uh, looking for survivors, the town folk had clearly put up a fight, and, and for that they suffered. From the rubble, they heard a moan, and they uncovered a badly injured militiaman. Lady, we held as long as we could. We had to retreat. They were so strong. Who did this? The Baryans? A troop of Baryan mercenaries marched towards... A bark's burp. But it were the knights who attacked us. Men of Arleon. Setting fire to our homes. Taking no surrender. All we could do was flee to the hills. The wounded man tries to speak, then fell limp. His eyes glazed over as the last a sliver of strength left his body. His essence is in the wind, but Stoutheart still stands. Come, there are survivors here yet. Let's search the hills before we journey south to Barkspur. It's time to put an end to this uprising. Oh, baby. It's gonna be interesting. Uh, looted cart. Uh, probably has loot still? 500 gold, wow. Guess it wasn't looted enough. Wood, stone, and gold, no survivors. A dead commander. Ooh, uh, I'm gonna go for the gloves. Well, there's still the tavern here. Sounds like everybody's still partying. Ooh, there's a tavern and a cozy tavern. Wow. A lot of drinking going on in this town. As they reached the top of the hill, they found a sturdy tavern and the soot-covered and injured, scarred survivors of Hope's Glade. From among them, a, a minstrel stood and greeted her. Hail. 
Do my eyes deceive the bareness of Stoutheart to grant, re grant reprieve? If you mean to avenge these foul knights, then we brave souls would join your fight. And with your aid, Stoutheart will stand, returning peace and order to this land. Oh, we can recruit Bard. We can recruit Mistrals. Oh, man. Plus five defense to the friendly. Well, I can't take any more troops, but... So the tavern, you can recruit minstrels, and the cozy tavern gives you plus movement. Okay. Well, we don't have any more command range to take more troops, but we can always come back here now. Uh, let's go grab that wood up there. Could be useful. Dude, we have so much money. 14,082 stone. We could, like, build a whole new... A whole kingdom. We'll just pull over and be like, eh, we're starting over. Your name is Senna? Hi there, Senna. Welcome. Plus two movement. I have a feeling about an ambush at this lake for some reason. Oh, I knew something was going to happen. Barkspur. Gazing across the lake, Cecilia saw the settlement of Barkspur and nearby another force of Baryan mercenaries. This one led by a wielder. Uh-oh. She readied her soldiers for the final battle to retake this region. Oh, we got to go fight like a... A stronger army this time, led by somebody like us who can also cast spells. Hmm. Looks like we can go east or southwest. Nymander Breeze. Oh, we're on the right side now because he was attacking. I wonder if we can be defensive here. He has, uh oh, musketeers. Oh, damn. They got gunpowder. Pipers, musketeers, and pikeneers. No new members? I thought there'd be new members attacking. Just pipers, I guess. Okay. These guys playing some tune into battle. Somebody with a bagpipe comes over and hits my archers in the face. Wow. Oh, those musketeers are going to be bad. Oh, you can actually be attacked when you're moving by. Okay. Oh, they can attack twice.
Get wrecked, sir. Wow, his damn gun exploded when we shot him. Musket just blew right apart. Ooh, that was a fight. Wow, that was a rough one. After the battle, a beaten Nemander Breeze is brought before Cecilia. Wielder. My appeal to your honor and beg that we may negotiate a surrender. I am Nemander Breeze, a stranger to these parts. I concede the field and withdraw any of my additional forces nearby. You are indeed a stranger, Baryan, or you would know it by my colors. I am Cecilia Stoutheart. Is it your weapons that arm the bandits who caused the uprising at my mines? There was a misunderstanding, milady. We were led to believe by our employer that they had a lawful claim to these lands. When we realized our betrayal, we already had signed a contract. Reveal to me your employer and their plans. If I am satisfied with your answer, I'll spare you. But every baron of your company will leave my lands immediately. was Lady Hammond and her company of mercenaries are en route to Ashbourne we are grateful for your mercy Lady Cecilia may this deal bring good fortune to each party the information is adequate I'll spare your life and instead send you to the prison of Castle Everkeep there you can contemplate that honor might worth uh, be worth more than a greedy contract wow Raptor, you are very cool, bro. Thanks, bro. Appreciate that, bro. Oh, d damn it. Did we win? Oh, I wanted to keep playing. Oh, wait. I guess we can. Uh, successful objectives. Take back the gold mine. Done. Place an office offering at the offering tree. Done. Look for survivors. Done. Aww. Aww. <laughs> Grim conviction rose Cecilia of stout heart To crush rebellions and push back another rap star Lady Hammond claimed her settlements Settling We begin Oh, it gives you like a briefing of what you did in the first uh, first mission. Were those guys bone thugs? Bum, 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 bum. I mean, that's what it felt like. All right, good. Well, that's all I can show for the campaign, but we can still continue to play skirmish, and I am having a blast, so we're going to do just that, although we can tease mission two a little bit. The responsibility of rule. The right of law is uh, was in Cecilia's favor, but the concord of barons was a fragile thing, and she would need force to uphold any laws to protect her claims. The baroness set out towards Ashbourne in a swift pursuit of the exiled Lady Hammond and her uh, Barian mercenaries. Actually, I think I can complete the whole campaign, but I, I don't want to risk it like a 50-50. But I, I think there's three missions in this first campaign, which is pretty cool. Then other ones will unlock. Obviously, there's going to be... Many other campaigns, many other locations, and many other factions. And look at all these areas on the map. Grey Tour, Humphrey, Eastfell, Windhaven. This reminds me of when we played, um, what was that? Oh, God. What was what was the name of the, uh, the uh, oh, it was called um, the Horticulture, Strange Horticulture, yeah. And the map of that world, that was really cool. Well, there's Ashbourne down there, so apparently that's who we're going to be at war with. Although I don't know where our kingdom is. There's the island of Erlon. And the easternmost Baronies. Nice. Everkeep. Oh, that's where that dude's getting sent to uh, to jail. Lock him up. All right. But let's see here. Can I continue? Oh, yeah. Cool. You can continue the campaign at any time. All right. I got to say, I, I really, really like this so far. I do. I really do. So much so, I should also make a video on it as well, because... I'm sure a lot of people will drake me and be like, oh, 
Pixel graphics, game's bad. It's like, oh, come on, man. You're missing out on so many games that way, bro. All right, let's fight against somebody else. Is this our race? Oh, yeah, okay. Ooh. So there's the Arle Arleon, the Barony of Loth, Maria, Rana. Okay. Uh, let's do... Ooh, Swamp Dwellers. Swamp Dwellers. Old Empire. Declining Barony. Uh, let's do Barya versus the Swamp People. Okay. Oh, wait, you say your name, okay. Oh, I could set their name. How do I make sure we're on other teams? So, Barya is an independent merchant state, and R Rana is... a mysterious, like, group of swamp people or something. Okay. I like the Empire and Decline one. Okay. Defeat thy neighbor. You got it. I love this. It's like playing uh, Heroes Hour or Heroes of Might and Magic again. Dude, look at how the screen has also changed too. The, the outline has changed a little bit as well. Good alpha of a game? I agree. Now I just want to play through the... I, I'm just going to have to... Um, when the time is right, I'll, I'll go back and play through those other missions in a video. So if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do because I definitely want to do a video series on this one. I'm going to try to... I want to make more videos this year. As live streams are really cool, but I, I, I feel like I'm, I want to do more videos as well for people who don't have as much time to you know, see a full campaign. I mean, it's hard to... It's hard to do a, like, a little short glimpse at uh, a game like this. Oh, there's a scorpion. Wow. There's so much stuff around. Look at this. What is that? Oh, is that that stuff? That must be the celestial ore. Yep. Old camp. All right. All right, let's get started. This will be fun. Small build site. Oh, do, can we take a look at our town? Wielders, purchase troops... I don't know if we can look inside the city, but... Oh, we can build stuff outside the city. Okay. But we need cash for that. And we're a little short on most things. Um, Let's start with... Oh, there's different size buildings, too. Shop, sawmills, stone pits, rally point, piper's post, uh, dreth den, guard tower, bazaar... Uh, what is this? Fort Fortalis? Workshop, Mercenaries Quarters, Merchant's Guild, Factory, and a Foundry. They don't have an image for this? Unplayable in this alpha preview build that is not the final product. I am so... You know what? Not happy as a gamer. Unplayable. Can't be pleased. Don't want to be happy. Volunteer misery over here. Hey, the factory makes siege weapons. Oh, look at this. We get specific units for each faction as well. 
So the factory creates something called the Hell Breath for the mercenary forces of Barya. Okay, so each faction gets... They, they probably all have pretty similar units like militia and archers and swordsmen and stuff. All the basic stuff is there. But then they all probably get their own unique units for... In this case, like, for example, the Hell Breath. Or uh, maybe like advanced archers or spearmen. Do I know where you can get YouTube-friendly music from? Uh, there's a streaming website called Pretzel that you could utilize. I've stopped using it, though, because even there I get... Even there they, like... Uh, yeah. Anyway, I think we should start with a basic sawmill, so let's do that. It looks like it'll take a few turns to build, so let's go get some money. Wrinkling of gold. What is this over here? Ancient amber. Damn. Is that the thing that brings you to the hospital? The, the Amber Lance? Uh, Celestial Ore. Ooh, what is this? An orchard. Plus 900 gold. <laughs> We're already new level. And we've just, like, walked to the right slightly. Alright, what's our character? Yuma Rosewater. Whoa, offense 10, defense 5, level 2, experience 500, movement 10. Oh, here's the troops with us. The Brute, the Piper, and the Sassanes? Archery, Cunning, or Command? Well, since we have three units with us already, I'm going to go with Command. I feel like we're going to end up finding a lot of... A lot of troops so even pretzels copy right now well they have this system where you're supposed to link your channel to pretzel but it wouldn't let me link my channel so so it's like hey hey youtuber it's a nice channel you have there if you don't give us back-end access to your analytics by allowing us to log into your YouTube profile uh, we can't let you in it's like wow you're great Oh, well, there's plenty of stuff we can get. Oh, there, there, there we go. The sawmill's done. Oh, I love the animations. That is awesome. Can we kill the scorpion? No, it's just, it's just wandering around. So we're kind of more of like a desert people, I guess. We kind of live in arid lands, or if that's the map. I don't, I don't know if where you spawn represents your kingdom, or if it's just random on the map. Celestial gauntlets, nice. And it looks like things are auto-equipped in this game, so... Yep. So a little, like... Reminds me of Warhammer there a little bit. What you can do in Warhammer. I wish I would have played more Warhammer, too. too. Too many good games, folks. Too many good games. Alright, we got another build site. Let's do a stone pit there. Oh, man, I love the build. I love that building, man. You know what I really would love to do is I would love to find an artist who... There, there's a few people, and I think I mentioned it before, that do isometric art and or pixel art on Twitter. And they just do like, hey, I was bored. I didn't want to make a game, but I made this really cool, like, conceptual game by making it look like... Um, you know, I, I made this art that looks like it's a screenshot from a game, but the game doesn't exist. It's, it's just art, and it's like, man, I love that. Also, I hate it because, you know, it's so pretty, you wish it was actually a game. All right, uh, we can get dress or gold. Ooh. How good are these units? Max troop size, 30. Damage, 2 to 4. Health, 9. Melee offensive, 11. What's that in comparison to, like, this guy? Health, 45. Health, 9. Wow. I'll take the money. Wait, these are soldiers? These are just dogs. Like hyenas. I'll just take the money. No, I, oh, I wanted to go. Oh. oh, here we go. Here's where we draft troops. We got to build buildings for it first, though. There's also a little camp down there as well. Hi there, Dan. No! Go up to the thing. 
All right, only complaint so far about the game is that <laughs> since I can't like rotate my thingy. Oh, you can just press E to end the turn? Okay, I was trying to rotate the camera. All right, just go up here, sir. There, finally got it. All right, let's go get some cash. Love E is the hotkey for ending turn. Love that. I will take the gold again. Units seem very, very expensive. Look at our city, too. That's beautiful. It's like an oasis. So we're definitely kind of like more the the desert arid region people. But yet beautiful shops and stuff built. Plus three offense. Excellent. The Trunk of Books. The Trunk of Books is discovered at a dried up oasis. Lend a few to the Tinkerer's Guild, but s uh, keep some while you research their value. Plus 100 gold. Actually, at this point, I think I should have, like, played the base building tutorial, but... Eh, who cares? We're having fun. Alright, so we claimed a water mill that receives 200 gold per turn. A group of Arleon troops. Black, thanks for the 15 months as a raptor egg. Thank you very much. Old urns. Um, that wasn't much money, so... I wonder if we can take these guys on. We barely have any troops. I don't know. I don't know if we could actually take them on. I'm gonna. I'm gonna build up strength before we go mess with anybody. It's in these games. It's a very good idea to not not pick any fights early and just try to find all the all the stuff on the map that you can collect first, and then and then start fighting. Ooh, 750 XP. Excellent. A dead wielder. The remains of a dead wielder have been found and their belongings sent to you. 300 gold and a boar spear. Okay. New level! Alright, melee, archery, or command? I'm gonna go with melee because I think our troops are melee. way to tell a bear spear yeah don't you start wonder how I make troops then is there a way to manufacture okay purchase troops in the building of the city oh now it shows up okay oh okay so the heroes here are called wielders so we can recruit another hero or wielder, and then an army to go along with them, but we probably need... And then tan, that could just be a permanent on that one. Uh, let's see. How do I make troops? Level up city. Extra build site. Oh, you get build sites around the city if you upgrade the city. Okay. All right. Oh, I like that. I like how we can build outside the city. That's cool. So this is how we go about recruiting people. By building things like this. So we want to look for like a... A Dreth Den will allow us to, yep, get two Dreths per turn. Is this a medium build site? Or... Looks like some are medium and some are small or large. Shop. Okay, so we've so far we built a sawmill and a stone pit. That was a good start. We can get pipers, or dreth, or a guard tower. Oh, that protects the city. Okay. Shop gives us gold. I think I want to start making units. Let's go with the pipers post. Pipers train and compose stirring tunes to inspire troops and terrify enemies. Imagine making a rap so so dank. 
that it makes the enemy surrender. And it looks like we need... Oh, we can only build one building per turn, it seems. Build a queue full. Okay, so we can only build one per turn. I love the look of the items on the map. Seriously, I just... This is stellar. Oh, there's that little camp we didn't go to yet. Pikeneers or money? Uh, let's start going with troops now. Build an army. That is beautiful. A sunken statue. Look at that art style, man. Seriously, I could I could just go to a Twitter and just look at stuff all day long. Like seriously, like I just love this so much, dude. Can I not go there? Oh, now I can. Cannot afford five ancient ambers. A low growl emits from the statue. With amber, my secrets will be given. Okay. Glimmer weave or gold? I don't know where we'd get glimmer weave from, so we'll go with that. What is that? Oh, it's a floating enemy. Great. Plus three movement. Go to that tower up there. Don't want to fight anybody just yet. Oh, I forgot we can build again. Um, Drethden. Dereth are like these uh, attack dogs. They look undead. What's up, David? Yeah, we're playing uh, Songs of Conquest in Dam. I mean, I knew this was my type of game, but I didn't realize... I didn't realize how much I would I would like it. I mean, most games I like. This one's just like... It hits on the things that I find to be special and uncommon. And that's why I'm praising it so much. Who's in the tower? Rapunzel? Um, I guess we'll have to go see. Ooh, lots of free stuff over here. And some boots. With the fur. Ancient ruins, source of knowledge. Plus a thousand XP. Wow. I think we should get another wielder going, but we should probably get some army troops going too. Miss Bell, thank you very much for becoming a raptor hatchling. Thank you, and welcome aboard. You are awesome. We'll have a giveaway today in the Discord, too, if we hit our member goal for everybody. So if we happen to hit the goal, drop some extra love in the Discord for everybody who drops a little extra love on me, too. Thank you for the support. That's nice. Mercenary Quarters. Oh, we get plus two musketeers per turn. Oh man, things are going to be really expensive. Already got the XP. Uh, I'm going to go with the Pikineers. Threat level easy. Let's go for it. All right, our first battle. Let's do it. Good thing it's not threat level midnight. That would have been a problem. Ooh, this guy's like an assassin. Oh, big boy. All right, sir, you're up first, I guess. Go straight in and attack. Wow. No. Oh, 
Oh, get clobbered, son. Nice. Uh, let's see. Protection. Sabotage or aggression. Give friendly troop melee offensive and ranged offensive. Wow. So it's a buff. Rapid fire. Kill one enemy unit troop. Those seem to be helpful. Oops. Accidentally misclicked to move around that guy. Didn't mean to do that. Get wrecked, son. Get wrecked. All right, let's go for melee damage. For the first two battles, rounds of cunning gives... Oh, that's only limited. I want permanent. All right, a creation spire. Ooh, that's pretty. Creates essence for wielders. Ooh, that's important. We gotta upgrade the town again. Ten stone for upgrades. Okay, so we need to find more stone. Or make another quarry, but I have no more build sites. Purchase troops. So we'll have to go back to pick up those reinforcements. So both these things are under our control? Oh, never mind. Petrified trees. You near this stone-like tree. A voice fills your head. Drop an offering by my roots to receive my knowledge. Ooh, that was important. Wow. Wow, plus 40 melee offensive? Damn. This first wielder is going to be really powerful. Good, and we got more gold. Now let's head back. Love the music, man. Okay, so let's add troops to the army. getting powerful we still got a lot of cash though but I need more stone is there is that stone that's wood oh uh, thanks David for being here dude appreciate that so red is a probably a fight that if we hover over the troops red is a fight that we're probably going to lose green is a more manageable fight So we need to build up our army a bit more. We're kind of stun locked in this initial area for a little bit. We try to get a second wielder. Can you upgrade the stone mine you have? Oh yeah, good point. Oh, it costs ancient amber though. We don't really have much of that, but I agree to that though. We should upgrade our current buildings. 
Okay, so now we're making more stone. Good call, chat. Very, very nicely done. So ancient amber is required for upgrades, it looks like. So in the meantime, I would like to get another wielder. Oh, we have a maximum one out of one. Okay, so we need to upgrade something to get more wielders. Purchase troops to the buildings. We already got max on that for now. Upgrade or defense. We can leave troops behind for defense. James, you got sent home early. You're just, you're going to chill in the chat now from work. Awesome, dude. Welcome. Good to have you here. There's some stone down here, but it's going to be a hell of a fight to get it. Uh, but now we're plus two. So level two stone mine creates two stone per turn. Okay. Well, I guess we're going to have to wait a few turns. Oh, we could level up. Doubting Chaos or Command. Wielder gains two chaos. Wielder can see further on the world map. Plus two view radius. Oh, that's a good one. Or more command. Um... All right, a little bit of feedback at this point. Right now, I have to make a decision. I can't back out of making it. And I'd like to see a little bit more. I'd like, I'd like to be able to back out just to look at a few things before I did that. But it's fine. Let's go for scouting, though. Oh, yeah, being able to see further. That's really useful. Look at that. Look at how far we can see now. Almost across. We can almost see halfway across the map. Like, if we were standing here, we'd be able to see dead down the middle. You just mix Nutella into your coffee. It's different. Definitely not what I was hoping for it would taste like. Oh. Don't they have, like, Nutella sweeteners and stuff? I'm pretty sure they have sweeteners for everything. No one's sweetener than me. Okay, we can't make any more troops yet. And to upgrade the town, we need 10 stone. So we'd have to wait a few turns. But I can't make any more troops, and I can't get any more... I don't want to fight any battles, because we're going to lose. I, just, we, I guess we got to sit tight. Looks like we can go to the east, but we're going to need a little, little more strength. Uh, can we upgrade the other buildings? It looks like all the buildings to upgrade require either a prerequisite building or uh, this other stuff known as Ancient Amber. But one more turn and we'll have enough. You don't buy Nutella anymore? Having it in the house is a real problem. <laughs> oh boy. Alright, let's upgrade the city. Oh, neat. Look at that. Now the city's got some stone roads. I like that. Oh, it's okay. So this is the large building site and the medium building site. The bazaar. Resources from all corners of the world can be bought or traded. Okay. Let's buy that. And then that way, we should be able to buy all the resources we don't have. And now we could have another uh, wielder. Let's take a look at an army. Okay. So let's send those troops to there. And I think when we buy a wielder, he comes with a small arm. Oh, look, look, look at how the, um, the city is upgraded, too, visually. Oh, man, do I love that. Uh, wielders. Human mercenaries. A level six you oh that's us so they oh yeah they do come with troops yep starting troops and then special skills Ooh. uh Sanaz comes with six pikeneers and six musketeers that oh I'm, I'm thinking I'm thinking that one oh plus 20 melee offensive and 20 ranged offensive girl he's got it going on with that ranged attack Ooh, income plus 200 gold. 
Well, that's the guy we defeated in the campaign. Cool how they use uh, characters like that, and you can reuse them in the skirmish mode. Dude, he would pay for himself in just a couple of turns. 2,500 gold. If he gets just randomly 200 gold for being on the field, he'll help to also pay for new troops that you recruit as well. That's good. The more you have him out on the field, the more he's going to bring in. Um, I'm going to go ahead and try her. And then I want to... Can we mix troops together? Yeah, cool. So we can take her melee troops and give her range troops. They make them one big squad. Can you split? Oh yeah, split. Nice. So you can make multiple squads that way. We can give her ranged attackers. The Pipers, okay. Kind of a base unit just to give everyone some... joining stuff. Alright, let's give her most of the troops. I want to see what she can do. Okay, we're going to keep... Uh, what's his name? Rosewater here. And uh, what's her name? Bellicus? Sounds like a Roman uh, general or something. Threat level dangerous. Threat level deadly. Okay. So she's still not enough to break through with that. Well, let's, let's borrow her range troops then. See if we can punch through that line. Oh, she needs at least one troop in her army. Okay, how about now? Ah, uh, now he becomes medium, okay. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna borrow some of her troops so we can break out of this initial starting area. But I wanna get her skill too, because it is it is much more beneficial to us to have multiple highly skilled generals or wielders as they call them. Yeah, let's let's try to break out. If we break out, then we can have, you know. It's always a good idea to have, like, your, your flagship general, your strongest general, do a lot of the combat, and then your secondary backup person can be on defense or to go grab, you know, fight smaller armies and, and be on resource gather, gathering. Very, very important, both of them. All right, let's shoot this dude. Wait, what do the pipers do? Like, do they, is that all they do is just make music and that's it? The Jig of Jugs, plus initiative to friendly. Oh, there we go. Oh, nice. Beat his ass. Ow! Okay. <laughs> hey, what's up, Chaos? How you doing? Oh, uh, let's shoot. Hey, man, brother. Ripping and dipping. A little shoot and scoot. Oh, the spear also has a ranged attack where the enemy can't counter. Badass. Right, she's probably going to get hit next, so... They have to be one away. They they can only attack from a further range. Wow. 
it comes down to the bagpipe. Wow. We're getting wrecked. <laughs> blurk, blurk, blurk. Uh, and it said that was medium. So don't don't even try like over than that. Luckily, I think we. Oh, is our wielder dead too? Oh no. Oh, that's that's dead to death. But now we're like stun locked in this area without building up. But it seems like because we attacked them the first time, they're still weak, so we could still count we could go over there and attack again. I didn't know the uh the the musket had to be at range. I mean, obviously it's a ranged weapon, but it has to have, like, one hexagon before. Let's keep going. Can't give up just because of a little misfortune. Twenty range defensive. We can also try the gold guy. Alright, who's got the most experience? Okay, so they're both level 1. He's got 10 more on offensive. A wielder's offensive is passed on to its troops. Okay. So he's more offensive, she's more defensive. But I definitely want more attack. Finally, some gameplay of a new HOMM light game. Been waiting for this. Dude, I... I, every time I've been trying games over the last couple of years, I always think I'm going to like them, and then I end up just, like, loving them more. The only problem is that there's so, there's a lot of great games out there, and I don't have enough time to really, truly play them to where I can get every little morsel of content out of them. So, I guess it falls onto everyone else to, uh, try out the games as well, so they can build on their own. This game would have a, if, if they allowed you to, uh, Play like the first mission as a demo? That'd be fantastic. I think I think a lot of people would love this. There's not already a demo. Alright, the bazaar is complete, so now we can buy stuff? So we really need more stone. What do we want to build next, though? A foundry would give us siege weapons. Or no, the factory would. That takes 15 celestial ore. We ain't getting that anytime soon. Foundry will give us Artificer's Forge and Drills. Fine points of casting metal and working ores uh, leads, to greater leads to greater weapons and creation. Factory or Merchant's Guild. Well, this is more of an economy. Now again, if you're liking this, a game we played yesterday, and I'll have a sponsored video on it for probably tomorrow, um, called Heroes Hour. There's a lot of these really cool Heroes of Might and Magic type games coming out. It's the easiest way to explain it, but they all have their own feel. And this, man, these are really just these are types of games that would melt away the entire day. You know, you'd wake up. It's a Saturday. You have a cup of coffee. Next thing you know, it's 9:45 at night. And you're like, what? I just need one more turn. That's the sign of a good game. Elden Elden Ring, the same way as well. You know, you play that for a thousand hours a day and didn't even realize... Didn't even realize a day had passed. Alright, let's load up the troops. Looks like he only can hold three troops, though.
Didn't we have, uh... Oh, yeah. Oh, there's an easy button to just press there. Okay. All right. Um, let's keep on trucking, brother. Amen. So we can buy stuff. What do we need to buy? If we want to make a factory, we need celestial ore. Ooh. We can also upgrade to level two and get... Oh, we get a hell roar. Which is like an upgraded cannon. Okay. Well, I want I want weapons, so let's do we need fifteen celestial orb. Bad news bears is that we only have uh the other one. We can buy five for two thousand. And then four. Oh, you can also sell. Now we need 7,000 gold, which we're generating each turn. What is this option? Sell? Sell Bazaar, nope. Uh, let's see, we could sell the wood that we're making. But we're generating stuff per turn. It's 1999, it's a Saturday morning, hot chocolate. Milk, mom made you and your brother <laughs> hanging out with your brother playing Heroes of Might and Magic 3 already on custom. Yeah, I can remember doing that too with a friend where we'd pass the keyboard back and forth just hanging out. And it was cool because it would be like he would make my turn, I'd make my turn, and then in between we were also playing like uh, Gran Turismo 1 or 2. <laughs> so we'd be playing two games while in between our turns we'd be playing a different game. I mean, that's that's amazing, dude. That's wholesome. It's almost as wholesome as clicking to tap and join and becoming a member today to unlock a giveaway and such on the Discord. What? Yeah, absolutely. All right, let's keep trucking, brothers. Amen. Yeah, the hot seat mode. Yep, exactly. No need for the internet. You just needed a friend. All right, let's do... Well, we're just going to have to wait some turns and generate some more units. Okay, now we can build the factory. And generate more units. What's up, Jia Dev? How you doing? Okay. And I think this building takes, yeah, three more turns, so... Unfortunately, the, the fact that we lost our commander just a moment ago is a devastating blow, but we should be able to break through now, though. I don't think these troops stay around forever. And it looks like there's a village down here to recruit from. more spearmen. Does Rosewater have a respawn time? I mean, he might pop up again in the... Uh, I think he's dead to death, but he might pop up again here. Oh, yeah. Oh, you can revive. Never mind, he's not fully dead. No more wielders can be recruited. Acquire more towers... Oh, towns or level up town. Oh, okay. So he's not necessarily dead. We can just... We can get him back. We just need to upgrade the town, which means building. 
Fair enough. Uh, this is a completely different game, but it, it definitely has a lot in common with... It, it's the Heroes of Might and Magic style. The best way to explain that. I'm loving it. Are we at McDonald's? Is this McDonald's? Okay, so to build a cannon, we need what? Oh, it has a reload, too. It can only attack every other turn. Whoa, what the hell is that thing? Oh, the Hell Roar. Wow. We're just maxing out our army so we can go attack. In these games, I get a little too excited to attack early, and... It's easy to forget that you have to build up a bit before you go attack. But we'll have like three armies ready to go. Um, yep. This game has a multiplayer mode. I wonder if it'll have a hot seat mode. Root a few more troops here. I think he recruited them directly into his command. And now it says that these guys are going to be easy. Let's try again. Yeah, like, you know, a lot of people... Um, Nowadays, are starting to use the word reskin and copy. Oh, they just cop. But it's like, dude, it is impossible to make a game nowadays without being inspired by other games. Just how it's impossible now to, you know, make like a pizza joint or like a, a burger joint or something without being inspired by other recipes and spices and other meals, you know. It's called fusion. Things are blending together. Alright, so that was completely rude. You're getting clapped. Put your ass down, and ma'am. Alright, now, let's give this guy... ...shield. Gotta get him out of the way. Are you reloaded? I'm not going to risk it. Dude literally hit him with a guitar. Well, a bagpipe, basically. Ooh, spoils of war. We got some good stuff. Oh, this is the stuff that our previous hero lost. The Celestial Gauntlets, the Boar Spear. Okay. Finally, the door's open. Good. More gold when pillaging. Ooh. Give me the combat bonuses. Nice, 800 gold. Alright, the door is open. Now our army can spread into the areas of the east. That's cute. I wonder what we need to build that big cannon. Alright, so now we need 30 stone and 6,000 uh, uh, 6, um, gold. There's stone down here. Maybe we should re retreat back within and get that stone. Nah, we'll stay out here. Yeah, we, sw we swept the leg on that big boy. You believe in me? Oh, good. That's good. I'm, I'm glad you believe in me, chat. 
We're having fun, man. We're having a good time. All right, she has musketeers. Let's get her more musketeers and more doggos and a, I guess more bards. Ooh, 1,400 gold, nice. Seven dreth or 1,500 gold. I'll take the uh, units, please. Oh, nice. Three stone. Oh, and there's stone up here, too. And a stone quarry. Poglad. Glory to Raptoria. All right, now we can upgrade the town. Oh, 30 stone. 30 stone. We're close, though. Oh, hello. Looks like that guy will be easy to take out. We'll see about that. Okay, we could build more units. Wait, can we upgrade the city? Uh, one more turn. Keep her here for a little while longer. Alright, let's upgrade the town again. Good, good. I think we should probably get more mines and stuff going, we'll see. Was it 11 pipers piping? I think so. They were piping hot, like the interior of a hot pocket. I don't know if I trust fighting that guy, but we've at least gotten some luck with him so far. Shop will give us 150 gold. Not really. Okay, so we can only build small buildings here. Purchase troops from other towns and settlements here. Oh, okay, so with a bazaar and a rally point, we can basically do mercenary recruitment with a rally point. Cool. Hmm. I want to upgrade the sawmill, but we need more uh, ancient amber for that. Secluded Monastery, Source of Knowledge. I think that'll give us XP. We'll get gold from that, too. Oh, and then we can get the Celestial Ore down here, too. And that is one great big pile of money. Let's go this way. When is this releasing? Well, the developers were kind enough to give me, like, an early access exclusive demo for me to share with all of you guys. So we're, we're kind of taking our first look. From what I see at the store, the Steam store page, it says, like, TBD or whatnot. But this game so far seems so well polished. The only thing I've seen missing is, like, some uh, work-in-progress portraits for a few units that I didn't even notice. I kind of noticed it, but it was like, what? Okay, wow. So hopefully it's soon, because this is uh, really feeling great. And I was feeling about um, Heroes Hour, which again is another Heroes of Might and Magic type game that I really want to play with friends, and I'd love to play this one with friends too. Alright, what is that down there? Is that just a cliff face? Oh, must be a rock the enemy can't move around.
All right, let's go attack the horseman. Oh my god, get wrecked, sir. Wow. How did he just clap horses? Wow. Okay. Yeah, well, that's, uh... We're kicking ass now. Oh, and we can recruit what's-his-name again, can't we? Our fallen warrior from before. I don't know if they have upkeep, though. Wow, not bad. Not bad. You love how these games seem similar, but are really different? So that's what I'm saying, man. Like, every time I tell people to stop Drake memeing on everything, where they just like, Oh, this is similar to something else. They must have copied. It's like, dude... Things can be the same, yet drastically different, too. It's like saying, oh, dude, this movie is like this other movie because it's they're both motion pictures. It's like, dude. <laughs> You're right, but you should uncross your arms. All right, uh, let's see. Melee? We should we should definitely make this dude our, our, our battering ram. Money. Bum, 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 bum. More dress, I think. Bum, 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 bum. Hmm. So I think if we can come, if we recruit this other guy, he can take the Hellbarth. Oh, there we go. Oh, the hell breath takes four out of five. Oh my god. And that takes celestial ore for us to make. Okay, so that must be a super powerful unit. Oh, we upgraded the town again and we still can't revive? Level up cities, 8,000 gold, 50 wood, and 50, 40... Of 50 stone and 40 wood. Wow, that's incredibly expensive. Can she take this unit? Let's see. Ma'am? There we go. I was trying to get her to, to do that. Okay, let's get rid of the bard. Now, you know what? I think the cannon should probably... That's... We're going to have to take the cannon only if we have more troops. out of movement. This seems like a dangerous fight, but... Treasure trove. Oh, did I already go here? Yeah, I, I did. 2,500 gold. Okay, that was a lot. Like 700 probably. 900, okay. Wood. Gold. Pillaged, okay. Alright, let's see. Yeah, there's some more units. What is that? Pipes of glory. That must be a special... Well, that's a special unit. Or an item for our units. Nice, more ancient amber. 
Okay, I'm gonna upgrade our logging camp now because we're really gonna need more wood too. Okay, that's nice how it's uh, immediately uploaded or upgraded. Large settlement. Is that where we can make a town? Uh oh. A spawn, a brood, a gaggle, and a pod. Uh, bro. Oh, this guy. Oh, this is the swamp people finally. He came out of nowhere. We're dead. We're so dead. Reload your Fs, boys. Oh boy. They're like giant frogs. Yeah, I said preload the Fs. That came out of nowhere. Well, we do get that unit back, though. We just re-recruit him at the uh, HQ. All right, well, now we can get our other guy back. to at least keep one unit. Well, now we have some cannon with. Yeah, we got some good money. The money the money's good, yeah. We can do a lot of recruiting that way. And we should probably do a rally point so we can get um, more troops. And we can only build one thing at a time, so... But now we got our friend back, so now we can clean out areas near our base. Uh, let's see... Now it's done. Can we? Hmm. 
Mercenary quarters. Oh, plus two mask. Okay. I probably want to go for the Pikeneers, but we gotta wait. Oh, the Musketeers are not as good as I was hoping. That cooldown is really murderous. But oh, we can upgrade. Okay, let's go... Should be able to beat these guys. They flee! As your army approaches, it becomes clear to your enemies that this battle is the little hope for winning. They turn and flee rather than to fight. Oh, good. So we can just vanquish them. Nice. Oh, and the lookout tower shows us more of the map. Very nice. Well, now we're so powerful that enemies are fleeing. That's good. Still got to do better, though. Good. Good. Oh, does this have AoE? Direct, sir. Well, now that we have a big-ass cannon, I mean, that, that helps. I guess. Good. So, scouting, destruction, and command for radius. Mm. Beak of the Beast. Should be a way for us to trade stuff with our allies, too. Like items that we picked up off the... Artifacts or whatever. Okay, Karen. Five stones, so we got 32. Probably sneak past that guy as well. at 20. 20, 30, 28 out of 50. We need more of those boys. Alright, she can head back. Such nice music, I love it. Oh, that's why he was down there. That's uh Oh, did he capture that to build a whole base? Oh, we're gonna go hit that then.
Wow, he's building quickly. Oh, we can take him on easily. Works well for our cannon. Oh, it doesn't do splash damage? Oh, man. fire over the mountain? Oh, get wrecked, sir. Shooting frogs with muskets, brother. Amen. Boils of war. Wow, we killed an enemy commander and got a lot of good stuff. Wow. And some really rare stuff, too. View radiant. Whoa. Okay, that was a... That was a devastating blow. Yeah, that's right, Tan. Our new episode of Far uh, Changing Tide is out. Thanks for pointing that out. You are awesome. How are things going with our new team, by the way? Our new uh, flight crew. How are things going with the flight crew? I see people now scheduling events for me and stuff in the Discord. Thank you very much for doing that. That's awesome. As a reminder, everybody's welcome to the Discord, too. And you can follow me with the links and stuff down below here. Like on Twitter or Instagram or uh, come say hi on the Discord. And of course, don't forget to become a member as well. Great way to uh, support the channel and get some cool perks in return. And also giveaways and such for everybody else. Well, I think we can take these guys. Yeah! Yeah, the cannon doesn't seem to do splash damage to units around, but that's okay, I suppose. That's okay, I guess. The drink service is a little lackluster. Thank you for your feedback. Nice. Uh, this is what sucks about the ranged units, though. Both the cannon and the musketeers take a turn to reload. And that's... That's what sucks. But the dogs do a lot of damage. Damn. Victory, yeah.
<sighs> oh, your troops gain plus two HP. All dwellings produce 35% more units. Give me more units. And we can have her fairy units over to the to account for the losses. Big win on an enemy commander, though. Now we can take a large settlement and take out another enemy commander. Very weak when we do that. Because she doesn't have any troops remaining, but that's fine. You want to go, bro? He wants he wants to fight. Frogman wants to fight. Let's do it, homie. Let's fire some cannon. Oh, that is ugly. Oh, whoa, what it? Somebody get the raid. We need some bug spray. Look at that thing. Dear God. Ugh. Oh, kill it before it lays eggs quickly. Reloading. Oh, damn it. I didn't see that enemy trooper there. Summon a barrier. Aha. Oh wait, did I just say the word barrier? Uh oh. Clear launch detected. <laughs> Got his frog ass. <laughs> Another big dub. Hell yeah. 
That barrier was good. That means that they didn't go for the uh, cannons. We didn't lose any. They're expansive. Get wrecked, sir. Get wrecked. Well, that takes out two of his major armies. Ooh, cool. I like their unit. Look at their buildings. It's like a floating hot air balloon thing with a telescope on it. Cool. I don't think that's his main base, though. I feel like he took over some other settlement and then spread out. How do you spend money in this game? Well, um, I think we're w getting money, too, from winning battles, but we, we can spend it on troops here. We can spend a little bit, plus some of the uh, base upgrades are kind of expensive. Like, to upgrade our city, it's 8,000, so... Uh, but we still need stone and wood. So I, get, I guess what we could do is buy stuff at the bazaar. That's a good point. Uh, we need to get 50 stone and 40 wood. Well, let's buy and upgrade the town. And we need 50 stone and 40 wood? Yep. I guess this is just a way to bypass waiting all the time, eventually. Obviously, it's better to buy stuff, too. And then we can spend money on buying new stuff. Alright, so we have three spaces to build stuff. Um... So the upgraded sawmill only brings in two wood. The upgraded stone... In... Oh, it's because we captured a quarry. I have a quarry on the eastern side. Yeah, so now we're, bas we're basically broke now. And our army is fairly weakened by that previous battle. So we're a little dangerous now. Height shield. What is that thing? Neutral. We need to go capture the crypt. Winning a battle after battle has paid off. Gathering all the spoils and pieces of the battlefield has a large sum of gold. 600. Gold and stone from the rebel camp. And 500 gold from that. Damn, nice. Looks like we can take the settlement. Maybe we should do that. They're undefended, I think. It looks like our town is fully upgraded, too, so we can't upgrade anymore. Okay, so now I can funnel troops back to the front lines. This is risky. Our base is undefended, but if the enemy came through, they'd still have to go through that neutral mob there. And there's a lot of stuff to the west. I wonder if this is like... We went for a 2v2, but I wonder if this is a spawn for like 4v4 or like a 3v3. Like, it looks like another person could spawn down here. Alright, let's go fight it out. I'm gonna hold off. Yeah, we're gonna have her bring down reinforcements and we're gonna take this city. Nightmares. Following a period of intense nightmares, you've been unable to sleep well. Oh. Well, 
Well, good thing we brought reinforcements. Be a nightmare for the enemy. Threat level suicide now. Oh. They were open for a minute. Oh, wait, it's for her. Ah, there we go. Let's do it. We are good to go. Chat, where's everybody watching from today, by the way? Interested to know where everybody's watching from. How's your day going? Good to see you all here in the chat. Welcome aboard. Let's get some ones in chat if you're watching live. Let's get some likes in the chat if you're watching live. Good to see you all here. Welcome aboard. Use those emotes, members. Take that, Ninja Turtle. All right. Let's have ourselves a big dub here today. Let's go. Let's have some victories here. Let's have a big dub here. Okay, we got 20 of these guys ready to go. Musketeers really can't move far. But they got some good damage. All right, move into position. Ooh, a ranged attacker up there. All right, reloading. You're watching from the Death Star. South Africa, Ohio, check it in. Awesome, good to see you. Muted on our flank there. Get wrecked. those ninja turtles nuclear launch detected reloading all back with those troops nuclear launch detected <laughs> we got him Indonesia checking in awesome Coliseum again in yeah Indonesia Pennsylvania and the couch Portugal tuning in too Good to see you all. Excellent. All right. Decide the fate of the settlement. Raise or convert. Stash your wielder. The city and the process of conversion to your faction. When the process is complete, will be yours. Let's convert to Raptoria. And give me cunning. Looks like they might have another city down there. What? Oh no, no, no. This faction gets spiders? No, thank you. Where's our uh, friend? Oh, there she is. Um, well, while we build an army, we can, I guess we can gather supplies. So at this point, the enemy has lost two commanders, or maybe even three, and a major settlement. So I'd say we're, do we're not doing too bad. We have foothold into their lands. Manchester and Cleveland checking in. Yep, good. Those cannons were like absolute delete buttons for enemy units that were a pain in the ass. Interest. Having huge sums of gold stored uh, means better deals and better prices. The profits from this have been stored in your vault. Wow. We could bring back our level four boy again. It's 
still building a bit of an army. Uh, let's see. A workshop gives us tinkers. Oh yeah, we have multiple uh, mercenary quarters now. Nice. Uh, upgrade requires a shop. Oh, and then that'll give us two veteran musketeers. Ooh. Okay. Looks like the enemy's trying to come up on the left flank. Ah, and it looks like the conversion is complete. Oh damn! Yeah, now now that we've con now that we captured that settlement, we've converted everything. That's big. They must have another city around, though. Can we go capture this stuff? Oh, nice. few things out of our grasp. Oh, there's something there, too, we need. And now we can start... Gr oh, man, look at that. Now we can start making troops here, too. Or upgrade. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. All right, the enemy might try to attack our city, so we're going to fall back. Yeah, we need additional pylons. We need additional additional snacks. Nope, enemy's thinking twice about that. They got a frog commander. Oh, they're so mad. A Glimmerweave Grove. Oh, Glimmerweave is, um... A like, harvesting area for a spider. Okay. Any buildings we can upgrade? We need more celestial ore for some of this. Let's build another sawmill. We're really light on the wood. There they are. That's the enemy's main camp. God, these buildings look so cool. Alright, so if we build an army big enough, we can go south. Let's keep our main friend here. kind of keep chipping away at what the enemy can claim as their home. Alright, so we're going to put... She's going to be the defender of our main city now. That's incredibly important. Let's get troops under her command. her near the city. Let's recruit another wanderer or wielder. I want to go down to the large settlement here and get troops, but we could have a, somebody go back and forth. Petrified tree. I need somebody to go back and forth to transport troops between the two. These names are so cool. Like this guy's name is Everthink, this guy's name is Sotfor. 
Captain Xavier Silk's pool. Oh my god, oh boy. That's a lot of units. I think we have the advantage over the enemy. I, I'm pretty sure we do. Like Metal Slug, Battle Brothers, Micro, Total War, Diablo, and a slew of other games all together. That's true. Oh, that's what I'm saying. Like more and more games are just a special blend of just all other good games. Game devs are now like, hey, what if we take the games we like and make a new game what we're gonna like? Oh, dude, good idea. Okay, so I want this guy to come down to attack. I want her defending. And I want the other guy to ferry things back and forth. Hello from Latvia. Hello. Uh, welcome aboard. Good to see you. Hmm. She's good to go for defense. He can upgrade again. There's a book up there. I, I guess we'll have him go for the book. Threat level worthy. Uh-oh. Kind of caught us in the middle of resupplying after that big battle. That guy seems dangerous as just one. But those guys are ranged, so let's go for them. Lords of the Realm, yeah. I do remember Lords of the Realm as well. Alright, we're going to need to make some more cannons and come down. I love how the battle continues. It's not like it's one-sided or anything like that. Like, we, we were starting to make some good advances, but... Now we got to bring our homie back again. But the guy who just died, or the guy that we can revive now, he fought two enemy commanders and captured a town and was capturing stuff nearby the enemy seems to want to come straight for us let's see what we can do
Oh, it looks like every one of your heroes can go there. Oh, I didn't know that. Cool. So every time you've got um, a wielder by like a site for upgrade, they can all go there. Nice. All right, now we need her to block. While we keep making more troops. Make another Dreth Den. What we played yesterday, Heroes Hour, that felt a lot more fast-paced and, and grandiose. Even in this small battle here, this this feels um, very. Uh, the map is very small for what we've set it to, but it's very like the battles feel big and important. I like it. Wow, we have a lot of cash. Um, oh no, I want to be able to buy troops now. Bizarre mercenary quarters. Let's try the Tinkers Guild. Upgraded troops to veterans. Oh, yeah. They can come attack my city. Go right ahead. Pikeneer is nice. I'm gonna try to transfer these to the ladies. Build a guard tower. Well, at this point, I want to try uh, try to pump out more troops and give uh, everything that I can to them. Get her ready to fight. All right, the pipers are crap. Oh, even now it would be deadly. Uh oh. Uh oh. We need more cannons. Oh, it takes a while for them to be back on the back on the list. Hopefully he doesn't break through. He should attack. Well, we broke out to the east, and we we hold the area on the right side. Now they're going to attack the city. Let's see if we can hold it.
Oh, I see. We have towers because we're defending. Okay. We can't use spells because we don't have our homeboy. I don't know if I want to leave. will come down out of the towers. Damn war ostriches. Okay, they're going to take the city back. And so it begins. The bog down. The back and forth battles that you know and love. I love these types of battles too, because then you can just basically uh, try to retake positions and battle it out. I don't. Yeah, it looks like they've taken that back. We can try to go capture it again. Good stuff. Uh, let's see. I want to play more of the campaign now to see some of the story. I th I think we can probably go back to some more campaign missions. Let me let me just check here. This is good. This is a good uh, little um, first time scenario though. And I must say, like, there's a tutorial for the game, but min it's like minimal needed so long as you played some other s uh, similar games. Oh, there's a map editor too. Then a tutorial on pre-battle, spell book, character sheets, and Oh, there's actually a tutorial for the level editor. Cool. Um, let's see if there's a intro to this. I don't know if we can go on to play Mission 2, but we'll just take a little peek at it. A little peek. We'll, we'll just peek. UI looks phenomenal. Yeah, things look great in this game. Objective. She must not die. Oh, okay, good. Uh, well, she's not dead. So mission complete. Mission 2, awesome. Complete. <laughs> we did it. Yeah, mission 2 is really easy. Now, obviously, we got to go south and find out who's down there and whatnot. Good stuff. Folks, I got to say, I'm really impressed with Songs of Conquest. I definitely want to come back and make a video on it for people who um, don't have time to watch a multi-hour stream and want to see what it's all about. Um, definitely would be worth showing off the camp the first mission of the campaign to get a feel for it. And of course, the uh, I think the real like the campaign's going to be good, but I think the real bread and butter here is going to be playing single-player skirmishes until you get a hang for it, and then go right into multiplayer and have tons of fun with thousands of hours with friends. Um, and by thousands of hours, I mean, you know, by playing one game. You know how it is. Some of these games never end. Unfortunately, this stream must, though. So I'll see you all later today for another game called uh, Sons of Valhalla. Lots of of today. So Songs of Conquest, Sons of Valhalla. I'm going to get out of here, and I'll see you guys a little later today for more streams. So thank you very much for tuning in. Welcome again to all the new members. Make sure you guys jump on the Discord for giveaways and more. I got much more to do. I got to do some more giveaways and stuff. It's been a while. So thanks again for hanging out with me, and I'll see you guys later tonight for more Big O streams. Thank you guys, and thanks for watching Songs of Conquest. Add it on Steam today. It's going to be a good one. I could tell. I'll see you guys soon. Thanks for being here. Goodbye.